From the moment I took the decision to come out and to identify in the appropriate gender for myself, I understood that the only place for me to be is in football, where I'm good at what I do and where it doesn't make any difference what my gender is. It doesn't hamper my progress. I am Sapia Berman. I'm 28 and I'm a football referee. In my childhood, when I was about eight, nine or ten, life for us was football, football, football. When I understood that I wouldn't be good enough to meet my own expectations as a football player, I decided to become the person with the whistle and to involve myself in the game from that perspective. Away from football, life was complicated. One of the boys went out on the pitch, Sapir yearned to be a girl, but was not yet ready to share that news. Outside, I played a role. At home, I was who I wanted to be, a football lover and a woman. When I was a bit older, say 15, 16 or 17 years old, and I had my own money, I began to buy myself women's clothes. I would buy high-heeled shoes, and I would also paint my nails. I would remove it immediately with acetone, and there was often a smell of acetone in the house. There were all kinds of little things that I was scared of, but I needed to do them for myself. At 19, whilst undertaking national service, Sapir came to the conclusion that she wanted to identify as a woman. This understanding helped me establish my identity. It helped me to come out with confidence and with the knowledge that everything that I want to do is attainable. I was of the mindset that I'm going to embrace my dreams in my best possible form. Post-national service, Sapir's refereeing career progressed, and within a few years she was taking charge of games in Israel's top division as a man, but not for much longer. I recall my first conversation with my brother after I came out, and we tried to imagine how life would be after my situation became public knowledge, once word was out beyond the small family group who knew that I identified as a woman. We speculated that some people would accept it, others maybe not. There was great fear, but once I received such a warm reaction from the Referees Association and the Israel Football Association, for me, the sky was the limit. A week after publicly coming out as transgender, Sapir made history, taking charge of the Premier League playoff between Beitar Jerusalem and Hapoel Haifa, a first for a transgender referee in Israel. <laughs> There was a feeling of uncertainty, but as soon as I walked out onto the pitch and I started refereeing games, I was received with warmth and love. Everything just exploded. That was the moment I felt all the butterflies in my stomach turning into a giant fireball. I was ready to take on this challenge, finally feeling my best in the correct gender in the identity in which I feel most comfortable in the world. I think that I'm treated with more respect. The players address me using the correct gender terminology. If one of them is stressed during a game and speaks to me in the male gender form, they'll quickly revert to the female form, apologize, and then return to protesting about my decision. Sapir is made of something special and I have no doubt that she will continue to succeed and to stand out. We at the IFA are proud of her move and will continue to support her all the way. From a personal standpoint, I want to start a family with my partner, get married and have children. And on a professional level, it's a dream of mine to officiate in the Champions League, to referee in the European Championship and the World Cup, that would be a huge achievement for me. We only live once.